with fall coming to an end, fuck, what is it? What am I going to say? With fall coming to an end and winter slowly creeping up, that means, what does that mean? Oh, okay. With fall coming to an end and winter officially creeping up, that means more layered fits. I don't know about you, but to me, that means sweats, hoodies, jeans, and yes, even denim, and something as small as transitioning from low top shoes to high top shoes. Nail that shit, hell yeah. And today, I'm gonna be talking about my winter high top shoe rotation. Let's get started. What's up guys, my name is Mark K. Yab Yab. I am a men's fashion enthusiast. I love everything and anything related to men's fashion. I'm talking about thrifting, trends, essentials, keeping up with sneaker news, and literally everything and anything to make you look good so y'all could feel good. So if you're into any of that, make sure you guys please like, comment, subscribe, and let's get on with the video. All right guys, so I'll try to keep this context part a little bit shorter, I promise, but I'm all about practicality, essentialism, and literally whatever money I have left in my damn bank account, guys. I live in Silicon Valley, guys, and literally all my money goes to rent, food, and straight up expensive ass gas. So with that in mind, let's move on to the first shoe. All right guys, and the first shoe of my personal rotation are the Converse 70s. Price-wise, you're looking around $85. And the reason why I like it is because with the whole chunkiness trend still being much more apparent, literally for a few years now, I wanted to hop on that trend while finding that essential piece. And that's what the Converse 70s are for. They're the thicker sold version of the essential shoe, the Converse All-Stars. Now, whether you want to dress this up or dress it down, this is literally the perfect, most affordable option to help protect your ankles and yes, wet socks during the winter time. Now, if you want to go for a much more higher price, higher quality, and you're looking for a much more designer-esque style of the Converse, I would recommend the Mihara Yasu Heroes or even the Rick Owens Ramones. Now here are some outfits that I'm going to wear for the winter with my Converse 70s. And that's it for the shoe. Let's move on to the next shoe. All right guys, and the second shoe I'm referring to is literally the streetwear essential shoe, especially for high tops. I'm talking about Jordan 1s. For my collection, I actually have the 2001 Breads, and I believe they go for like $900 on StockX. And I know you guys are thinking like, dang, that's super, super expensive. Trust me guys, I didn't get it for that much. I got it for around 400 and I've been having it for years, guys. It's been lasting me years. And that's why I love the shoe so much because it's such an iconic like silhouette of a shoe. But it's like you can literally like wear it with like anything, especially if you're more streetwear favored. Now style wise, I feel like it is much more apparent in like Americana workwear. Obviously, you know, you're full on streetwear and even a much more like minimalistic casual fit and i think with winter being here and if you're not like a big fan of like boots or maybe even the converse i feel like these shoes are like the perfect go-to sneakers for your fit if you're looking for a much more affordable option for these shoes obviously like 900 bucks is super super expensive i noticed that dunk highs are coming in and they're basically like Jordan 1s if you think about it and maybe even the much more modern and newer retro style Jordans 
And honestly, guys, if you're balling and you want to spend some money on some like fresh ass Jordans, I say invest your money into 1985 Jordan 1s. I'm talking about the Breads, the Royals, the Neutral Grays, and I believe there's like two other colors. But check those Jordans out. I promise you, they will not disappoint. Now, here are some outfits that I'll be probably wearing with my Jordan 1s. Alright guys, and the next shoe I am referring to are Chelsea boots. Now, I don't really have a preference when it comes to Chelsea boots. The only ones I have in my closet, yes you can flame me, I honestly don't care, are my H&M Chelsea boots that cost me like 60 to $70. Now, since I'm getting older and I don't want to keep wearing streetwear clothes, but I also don't want to like wear a suit all the time. I feel like Chelsea boots are like the perfect shoe to transitioning from like streetwear clothes almost close to like dapper wear clothes or like menswear, right? Now, personally, I like to have the versatility when it comes to choosing any shoe or boot that I want to wear for the day, whether I am dressing it up or I want to dress casually. And I feel like that's where Chelsea boots like shine is the versatility that it can be used in different outfits. And also with winter being here, I feel like these boots will keep your feet warm and it'll definitely keep your socks dry as opposed to wearing sneakers, especially when you step in a random puddle. Now, if you're like me and you're wondering if Chelsea boots are for you, I'm just here to tell you guys like, there's literally nothing wrong with you like buying fast fashion like boots, right? Like if like for me personally, I feel like it doesn't make sense for one to spend like hundreds of dollars for a boot that you may not like. Yeah, you can resell it, but you will not make a profit out of it. And I feel like that's where fast fashion, I know it's like, I don't want to say fast fashion is good, but like it, it allows you to explore your options, especially if like, you're trying to figure out your style and see like if boots are really here to stay for you. Now, when it comes to choosing options, like me, I got mine at H&M. I've seen a lot of people get it from like Zara or ASOS for like the entry level tier. Mid tier, you can go ahead and go to like All Saints or even um, Common Projects all the way up to higher end style boots like Guidi or maybe even Saint Laurent. Now, here are some outfits with the Chelsea boots. All right guys, and the last shoe I am referring to are combat boots. And the ones I have, already New York, check them out. Um, it costs $400 from the time I bought it. I feel like combat boots are like the in-between of like, you know, any boot and then the sneaker. And then you have combat boots. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me personally, I feel like shoes with like laces really, really shine and especially adds that last detail to your outfit. I don't know, it's kind of, kind of weird. Like I'm not a big fan of like penny loafers. That's why I was kind of like on edge buying the GH basses that I got and even like Vans slip-ons and like having that like extra detailed like shoes is kind of like, you're like the in-between of like, hey, you know, like I, I like shoes or sneakers or like shoes with laces, AKA sneakers, while at the same time it's like, hey, you know, I'm grown up, 
I'm into boots as well. And to me, I feel like with thicker like boots, especially these boots that I got, um, it keeps you extra warm and you don't have to worry about like the rain. And I feel like with thicker, better quality boots, it obviously will definitely protect your feet even more. And guys, like I can not stress this enough. I literally hate wet socks. Now some brands I recommend, even if you aren't really too sure about combat boots, guys, there's nothing wrong with trying H&M, Zara, and ASOS. And if you like it, um, you know, feel free to move to the mid tier. You could check out Ori New York. I think All Saints has one. I'm not really too sure about their quality, so I'm, I can't really vouch for them. Or maybe even Common Projects. And if you're looking to go balls out and you got the money, then guys, please like feel free to check out like your designer brands like Balenciaga. They're much more focused on like the thicker sole boots as of like this winter. Uh, or you could even like find secondhand Dior Navigate boots. But good luck to you. Now here's some outfits that I am wearing with my combat boots. Alright guys, and that's it for the video. I genuinely hope you guys like these options for you, especially if you're like still trying to find your style. I feel like these options are like perfect for winter and maybe even early spring. Let me know in the comments below what are your favorite high top shoes that you're looking to get during the winter and spring. Maybe you even got it. Let me know in the comments below. Let's go ahead and talk about it. If you guys find any of my videos valuable, make sure you guys please like, comment, subscribe. And we're almost to that 500 subscriber mark. I know I said 1,000, but it's a goal and I know we're gonna get there sooner or later. But 500 subs, I'll show you guys how I make my YouTube videos from beginning to end. I'm out, peace out. It's starting to get super hot and we out here, peace.